Hello and welcome to this edition of Dealing with Brightspace. Today we are going to be looking at uh, something of concern to a lot of us and that is uh, working with the gradebook and specifically what I'm going to be showing you is a way in which I have found to add weighted grades. A typical way in which that we in which we uh, grade our courses is we have different components. Let's say in the online classes, we may have graded discussions, we might have quizzes, assignments, might have a final in there, might have a paper or something like that. And we assign weights over uh, zero to one hundred percent of the class. So the discussions might be worth twenty percent. Attendance, let's say, is worth. 20%, the quizzes are worth another 20%. And essentially, what we want is the grade book to be able to take all of those quizzes, average them together, and then assign them that weight. So that does all the math for you. And so the example that I'm going to use, I'm going to show you the syllabus for my department's death and dying class. And what I want you to see, it's a little, little broad here, but the, right here we see that the weighting of assignments within this class is the attendance or online discussions are worth 20%. The chapter quizzes are worth 10%. Chapter assignments, another 10%. And then all of the special assignments are worth 60%. And those are broken down in a 0 to 100 weighting for that 60% with the socio-cultural assignment going for 20, article review part 1 and 2 are 10% each, current events assignment is 20%, and the interview assignment is 40%. That was the, the, the big one there. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to create that in Brightspace. So I'm going to bring us to Brightspace here, make the screen nice and big, and here we go. Here's the grade book for that class. And what you'll see, this is in the master template right here, so I have all the quizzes are in a category, quizzes for the whole course and then the assignments are in another category so they're all together the discussions are all together in a category and the special assignments are all together in a category now notice that every single assignment is graded on a 0 to 100 scale now it's important that we don't mix different kinds of ways of computing grades there's points and there's weights and so if you have assignments that are points I think, as far as I know, you have to kind of convert those to 0 to 100 somewhere along the way, and then you um, can use weights. So just be mindful about how that math works together. So the first thing that we want, once we have this all in here, there's actually a little setup wizard right here at the top, and we're going to use that setup wizard to walk through various steps of setting up our weighted grades. So I click on Setup Wizard, and this is it's kind of defaults to a point system, so I'm going to go to Start. This is all the details here of the default settings. So I'm going to Start, and I'm going to select Weighted Grades. The other options are Points, Formulas. I'm going to go with Weighted Grades, and I press Continue. And I want to calculate a final grade. I do not want that automatic released. I want to release that when it's ready to go. So I uncheck that. This is just my version of this, showing you the different steps that I go through. Click Continue. I want to treat ungraded items as a zero. So if they skip anything, that is not counted and automatically keep the final grade updated i'm not sure how accurate that really is when i have weighted grades with finals on it so i'm not gonna i'm gonna not gonna let it do that if 
that may be something useful to look at in the future. And I know that some students would really like to have that as an ongoing, how am I doing so far? But I'm not quite sure if that's going to be accurate. I press continue. And I, at this point, I am allowed to select from the standard grade schemes. These are the, uh, the grade schemes are the things that say, what is an A? You know, it's like 95 to 100 is an A, or 93 to a 94 is a A minus, you know, that scheme. And you can see that uh, for me, KVCC is in there, so I'm going to take the KVCC standard grade. That's how, that's how the final grade is going to be computed based on all those weights. I go down to continue. I'm going to go to zero decimal places. No sense in that. I continue. Step six. Now this is an interesting one because the, the boxes up at the top here allow you to introduce some complexity to the gradebook so that individual students know how well they're doing in terms of the percentage of the weight that they're getting. Personally, I think the simpler, the better. They just go in there to get their grades. So I'm actually going to, the practice I've been doing, we'll see how it works. I can always go back and change it, is I'm going to take the color scheme away, take the symbols away, and take the weighted grade. I just want them to have their points. Again, zero decimal points. And here it's just saying display final grade calculation to user. I suspect I'll have to go back in here at the end of the semester and check that box. Press continue. And I'm ready to go here. I have set up my parameters and now it's displaying that I'm doing weighted grades. And now I'm going to have the opportunity to actually distribute those weights. So I go to finish and manage graded items and categories. That's what I want to go to right there. I click on that. And this is going to be my, it shows me the whole grade book. And what it shows me, here's the weight, and here's how the points are distributed. The 100 points toward that 100% of these. So there's 10 quizzes, actually, and they're all worth 10%, which is going to be converted to the weight. But the, according to my syllabus here, I go back to my syllabus, and... The online discussions are 20, chapter quizzes, assignments are, are 10. So quizzes, the weight is 10, so that's all set. Assignments, the weight is 10, that is all set. Discussions, however, according to my syllabus, are worth 20%. So I need to edit that. I go to edit, and I change the weight right there to 20. And I want to distribute weights by points across all items of the category. And watch what happens. You see that I'm back in here. And you'll see that because I've had it distribute across all of these evenly, my 20% each one is worth, each one is worth 8.33% toward a 100%, and then that's converted to the 20 weighting. Notice up here, too, that in this, part, in this particular area right here, you, you get some warnings up here when things are not quite ready. So I'm going to get to that. I'll get to that in just a little bit. So here you saw I changed the discussion weight to 20. I'm going to go down to Special Assignments and I'm going to edit that, and I'm going to change that to 60 and distribute weights by points across that category. And I go all the way down here, and you'll see that each one of them, there's five in all, and they're worth 20% uh, each. Now, according to my syllabus, however, those are not all even. It's 20, 10, 10, 20, 40. 
across the board. So I go back in there, I go to edit, and I want to manually assign weights across this category. So I select that, I go into save and close, and now I can go into each one of those and I can assign the correct weight. So my sociocultural commentary is worth 20. So the weight is 20. That was all set. The article reviews are worth 10 each, part one and part two. current events is worth 20 that's fine and the interview is worth 40 remember it's not worth 40 percent of the grade of the final grade it's worth 40 percent of that 60 percent weight right there so now you see that's 20 10 10 20 40 now if you go to the top of the screen you get your warnings the quizzes do, you know, it kept the 10 on each one of the quizzes and that does not work. So I need to go into quizzes, edit that, and distribute weights by points. Save and close. And now you'll see they're worth 11.111111 each. Then I go into assignments, go to edit. And I'm going to distribute those evenly. Save and close. And now those are worth 14.285 each. You'll see that the special assignments are individually weighted. And the chapter discussions, assignments, and quizzes are in are evenly weighted across those percentages. At this point, I've already determined that the finer calculated grade will be based on a 0 to 100 scale, and it'll be based on the KVCC grading scheme, and my grade book is done. And I just go back to enter grades. And that is it. So it's a little, little bit of jumping around there, but just be mindful. Make all your assignments grade from zero to 100, organize them into categories, and then follow that wizard in order to set up your weighted, um, your weighted grade book. And then you go, you, you're brought to an interface when you go to edit that in order to assign the weights. And then with, within each one of those categories, you either assign the weights of each item in that category, or you evenly distribute those, um, those uh, weightings within the category. And then that's it. That's how you get your weighted gradebook. So enjoy.